Using a microgram scale is much easier and shouldn't be scary for anyone at all. I have my tiny AWS 100 scale that measures up to 100 grams. And so here we go. I turn it on and my calibration units are right here. You don't have to calibrate your scale each time, but I prefer to because I'm dealing with such small quantities. So I'm going to calibrate it, zero in on here. So we're at zero right now. I'm going to put it on mode. It's going to say cal, and then I hit mode again. It's going to begin to blink. I'm going to put my calibration unit on. It says 100, and it passes. So I put my calibration unit away, and my scale is ready to use. I'm going to put my container on the scale and I'm going to hit tear and that's going to re-zero my scale so that I don't have to do any simple math to understand what's happening. I am going to put in, wow, very quickly I already have 1,720 milligrams of vitamin C here. So I'm going to take some out. I'm going to aim for 500. And as you can see right here, I have 670 milligrams. So I'm going to take out a little bit more. I'm aiming for 50. I have 380 milligrams. Getting closer. I'm at 510 milligrams right here. So at this level I would probably stop. And then if I want to add something else to my little container, if I'm mixing many supplements together that I have in powders, I'm going to hit tear again and it's going to re-zero it out again. So I can just continue to add my supplements on top in the same container. So it's very easy to clean up. So I'm going to aim for another 500. And there I go, I'm at another 500 milligrams. So in this container I now have one gram of vitamin C. That is how easy it is to use a microgram scale.